The foundation was very honored when the American Bureau of Shipping and its chairman, Robert Somerville, uh, agreed to accept the Coast Guard Foundation Award. Both company and men, man are legends in the shipping industry and longtime supporters of the Coast Guard Foundation. We are pleased that Bob is here tonight to accept this award. Please join me on the stage, Mr. Somerville. Thank you, uh, Bob. Uh, it certainly has been an enjoyable evening. And I thank Ann Bringle for her tremendous work, not just for tonight, but uh, throughout the year. And wasn't Al Roker great? <clears throat> for, for those of you who haven't seen his uh, docu-series of the Coast Guard, which the first one was in Alaska, uh, you should see it. I mean, it's really fantastic. And I understand he had one last night, but I haven't seen that one yet. But this really helps to showcase the extraordinary work that, that is done by the brave men and women who safeguard the U.S. maritime in interests. Admiral Papp, members of the Coast Guard, Coast Guard Foundation, and distinguished guests, it is a privilege to be here this evening representing the American Bureau of Shipping or simply ABS, as you all know us. The recognition from the Coast Guard Foundation is especially meaningful, as I have witnessed throughout my career, the dedication, the sacrifice, and commitment of the men and women of the Coast Guard. The honor being bestowed upon ABS this evening is a tribute to the extra extraordinary relationship that has developed through generations of ABS professionals alongside their Coast Guard counterparts. While ABS works with the governments of more than 125 nations and countries, the, the relationship that exists with the U.S. Coast Guard is truly unique. It is a relationship that stretches back many decades, forged by trust and respect, and is based upon a common mission of promoting the safety of life, property, and the environment. Now, in more than my uh, 40 years that I've been with ABS, the role and responsibility of classification have expanded as the complexity of vessels have evolved faster than at any other time in the history. Major technological advances have touched just about every element of ship's operation and challenged us to not only keep pace, but lead the maritime industry in development and implementation of safety and, over, and oversight standards. On a personal level, my ties to the Coast Guard began when I was a midshipman at Maine Maritime Academy. When I graduated from the academy with a degree in one hand, it was the Coast Guard license in the other hand that gave me the opportunity to get that seagoing job that I so desire. While those years at sea may have been a, a few years back, they, provide me, they provided me with the maritime values and principles that I have embraced during my years of service to this industry. Throughout my career at ABS, from surveyor to chairman, I've worked alongside an amazing group of Coast Guard professionals at all ranks, both civilian and military. I've been very fortunate to serve alongside Commandants Kime, Kremick, Loy, Collins, Allen, and now Robert Papp. And I consider all of them to not only be great Coast Guard leaders, 
but men I personally admire. Like the U.S. Coast Guard, ABS is proud of its history dating back more than 150 years. And just like the Coast Guard, ABS is charting a course for the future. So as my time at ABS nears an end, I take the greatest sense of, a, of accomplishment that his future has been entrusted to a new generation of leaders that is committed to strengthening ABS's relationship with the United States Coast Guard. I wish the Coast Guard Foundation continued success in its work to support the members of the Coast Guard and their families. It is a cause that I have personally supported over many years. And finally, and, more, and most important, my sincere thanks to the men and women of the Coast Guard for what you do every day and, and for the friendships that have helped make my years of service so rewarding. Thank you all very much.